Angela, please tell us a story. Well, I'll most certainly tell a story. I am not sure if this is going to classify as a fairy tale because I don't believe in those little people flying around. <laughs> but I heard this a long time ago. And it is said that a long time ago, not in my time, not in your time, not in anybody's time as far as I know, there was this little girl called Melindy. Oh, she just loved to dance and sing everywhere she go, everything she did. She was always dancing and singing. If she was going to school, oh, I'm Melindy going to school. I'm Melindy going to school. Well, this one day, of course, back in those days, kids had chores and she was sent to milk the cow. She went off, she milked the cow and on the way home, of course, she has the pail of milk. And what is she doing? She is singing and she is dancing with this pail of milk. Oh, I'm Melindy, I'm Melindy, going home, milk the cow. I'm Melindy, I'm Melindy, going home, milk the cow. Well, you know, she's got so much into the dancing and singing that she's not paying attention. She tripped on something in the road, spilled the milk over herself, on her nice dress. She spilled the milk all in the road and she's like, oh, 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 what should she do? She sat down on a little rock by the blade and she was just crying. <laughs> you know, she was only nine years old, so she was excused. But something caught her eye. And as she looked coming along the lane, there was this little thing that looked like an animal. Well, she was a good reader and she had picture books and it looked like a little monkey to her. So she, he comes up closer and she stops crying long enough and she's like, hey dear little monkey, um, what are you doing in these parts? The monkey don't answer because, you know, he is not a monkey. I mean, it's like calling him a monkey. That's an insult. Mm -hmm. So she said, hey there. Um, she's being polite. How are you doing? You're from around here? And then she looked a little bit closer and she sees the long tail and then she recognizes something else. He's got a little pitchfork and she's like, oh! Because from her Sunday school, she had heard all about the devil and everything. And she's like, oh, you're a little devil. Oh, and she started crying. Well, oh, 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 she started saying her prayer. She's doing everything. This is the devil. Oh, and the devil said, hi, I'm little devil. But that's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. I can help you out here. Uh, and she's like, uh-huh. She said, can you get all that milk back in the pail? And he said, yeah, I can do that. He says, I'm new to this business and I can do anything you want. He says, this is the first time I'm out practicing development on my own. So I'm <laughs> really impressive. And okay, this nine-year-old, she can negotiate. She says, are you going to get my dress back all nice and clean as well? And he's like, mm -hmm, I can do that. He says, but you have to give me something in return. She's like, what's that? He says, I am going to come back and take your soul. And she's like, oh, 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 I don't want you to take my soul. I want to live a real long time. And the little devil says, well, okay, I won't take it right away. I'll come back in a while. And she says, when? And the devil says, oh, you pick a number. You, you, you pick the time. And she's no concept. She's nine years old. No concept of stuff like that. Uh, she says, oh, when I'm 29 years old. And the devil says, that's the deal. That little devil, he did his thing. And the next thing you know, her pail was full of milk. And after that, 
there was a dress all nice and clean, looking almost brand new. And the little devil, I mean, he was a, he was a cute little thing. And he said, you want to dance? We can celebrate. And she and that little devil, and he's waving his fish form, <laughs> and they are dancing, and they are doing the jig, and then they did a hokey pokey, and that they, they did everything, you know? And uh, then the little devil takes off, and he says, I am going to come back here in 20 or 29. She says, bye, gets a pail of milk. She goes home, she doesn't get in any trouble, doesn't get a whipping, she has a dinner and everything else. Well, story doesn't end there. It is a 29th birthday. She has forgotten all about this devil. She's got married, she's got a couple of kids, and that particular day, she is organizing a birthday party for herself. Yeah, I mean, if nobody's going to do it for you, you might as well have fun, okay? She's organizing a birthday party for herself, and then all of, just out of thin air, poof, this little devil appears. Now, devil ears and human ears are not the same, because he still looked like a little devil. He ain't grown one bit. He's got that little fuzzy ear, still looking like a monkey, and he's got that pitchfork that ain't no bigger. She said, hey, there, little devil, it's been a long minute since I saw you. He, and he's trying to be a man. He says, oh, I, I'm, 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 I'm here to get your soul. I'm here to get your soul. She's like, oh, that right. Why don't you wait a minute here? Just a minute. Yeah, I had forgotten. It's my birthday today, and I did make a deal. It is 29, I am 29, we did agree on that. She says, wait right here, Miss Little Devil. She said, but by the way, you sure are looking good, but you ain't brought a whole lot. And she goes into the house. She goes into the house and she starts rooting under the bed and she starts pulling out all these old shoes and whatnot. And then she found the exact one that she wanted. And she took that shoe, it was all beat up, mashed up, broken down. And then she got her arms and she started pulling and she tore that sole off. And then with that sole, she stuck it behind her back and she goes up, hey dear little devil, here it is just for you. You can have my soul. And she handed him that soul. The little devil looked at it, he says, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> She's like, well, it's almost as big as you. you know, and you ain't brought a whole lot, so this is my soul. And the devil says, okay. And he took that soul and he went off. Well, Melindy, <laughs> she went ahead and planned her birthday party. She had a good time. She ended up having more kids. She just had a she just had a really, really good time. Lived long, long, long. Because that devil took that soul and he took off. And now I, I am not going to tell you what happened when he took that soul to his master. That's a different story. You don't want to hear what happened there. I mean, it was bad. When that little devil took that so but melindy she lived a full life she lived a lovely life and everything because you know once the devil take your soul once he can never get it again so he got his soul and the way this turned out to be a fairy tale is because it ended she and her family they all lived happily <laughs> ever after.